guys. Um, getting ready to install the radiant flooring in our um, mud room here. And so we have uh, just concrete subfloor underneath that I use a self leveler on to get rid of any of the, um, they were kind of like some divots in it. Um, and then I've pre cut these cork, they're actually a synthetic cork mats that have to go on top of the concrete and it keeps the radiant floor from actually spending all the energy heating the subfloor of the concrete. Um, instead, this will kind of provide a, um, like an insulation barrier so that the heat will go up through the tiles instead of um, down into the concrete. So um, these are actually the last few tiles that I have to um, adhere down. And they're already pre-cut, so I know they're gonna fit. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how I install these. I'm using a thin set called Ultra Contact. Before I add the thin set, I'm going to go ahead and sweep up any debris off of here because you actually can, you can actually feel it through the, through these cork mats. So you want to make sure you get everything off the floor. Just damply sponge off to get any excess. And also will make the concrete moist. Which will help keep this thin set from getting dried out too quick. Okay. So I've already pre-mixed my thin set here. And it's a very um, thick consistency and it's you know it'll kind of drop off but it holds the edge which is what I'm looking for. What I'm going to do is I'm using a notch trowel and there are two smooth edges and then there's the notched edge. Um, for this particular application it's just a 1 8 inch notch so I'm using the flat side to just kind of spread my thin set out. Once I've got, once I have the thin set all smoothed on there, then I'm going to use my troweled side. And I'm just going to scrape it through. And scrape off any excess. You're looking for nice kind of a corduroy look without any pockets or bare spots. If you didn't get any bare spots, you can kind of take this and patch it where you've got your bare spots. I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of move the mat around a little bit to make sure that it has some good contact with that thin set. And then take this really great invention of rolling pin, which I actually had to go buy one because I don't know if I have one. I don't bake much. When you get in the corners, you can just push it down a little bit with your hands. What I have been doing is I've been wiping anywhere where the thin set gets on the mats just because I don't want any rough edges that could potentially cause the radiant um, mats to break. So that's basically all you do and then I'm going to go ahead and let it dry and then I can come back and I'm going to go ahead and lay the radiant floor mats.